Welcome to my home lab. In this new video, we're going to continue the configuration of Open Media Vault. Today, we install test KVM for kernel based virtual machine in Open Media Vault. We are back on our dashboard. As you can see, we have Docker, NFS, SMB all enabled and running. In this video, we do the same with KVM. I have a couple of websites, the OMV Extras, you see the link here. Then the KVM plugin for Open Media Vault 7, you see here. Kernel Virtual Machine, that's the website from KVM. And a couple of interesting websites. If you want to know more, we go back to Open Media Vault. The first thing we need to do is go to System, OMV Extras, and Enable Backports. If you don't do that, you have an error if you want to install KVM. Enable Backports. That can take some time. We need to download some things. You have end of line. It means everything is okay. You can close it. The next thing is we go to plugins and search for KVM. You see here, open media vault KVM. You select it and install. Confirm. Yes. And it's installing. Again, we need a, a little bit. We have end of line, it means everything is okay. You can close it and you go back to the dashboard. The next step is to create two shared folders storage, shared folders. All the shared folders here are from previous videos. Create new one, name KVM images, select file system disk 4, the path it's ok, administrator read write, users read write, others read only, it's ok for now. KVM images and save. Sec we can wait for now. Second one. E -M ISO. File system. Again, disk 4. The part is OK. Read, write, read, write. All OK. E -M ISO. And save. We have the two new shared folders. Apply. Yes. And wait a little bit. The shared folders are OK. We can now go to services. And you see we have KVM. Select it. Now we need to create two pools. One for volumes for the images and one for the ISOs. Pools. Create new. The name for the first one is images. Directly that's OK. Select. We go to SRV. And we choose this one. Here you see. The shared folders we just created, KVM images and KVM ISOs. Select, choose, images, add. Second one, KVM ISO. Directory, it's OK. Again, in SRV. 
which one? This one. Now we choose KVM ISO. Choose. It's okay. Add. Now we have two pools. We select one and we need to start. And the first one is running. Second one. Start. Again, it's running. Now we need to put an ISO in this directory. Or we can copy an ISO from Windows to our KVM ISOs. We need to create an SMB share. SMB shares. We have one from before, but we create a new one. You select share folders. ISO comment KVM ISO public no read no only you can leave like that and save. We do the same for images. Select the folder KVM images. Images. No, read only. Everything is okay. And save. Now we have two new SMB shares. Apply. Yes. Again, can take some time. Or you can connect to these shares. We create new users. We go to users, user. We have two users from last videos, Docker and SMB. We create a new one. You create the name KVM user. Email, we don't need that. Password. Confirm the password. And select the groups. The group is users. Here, we select it. We have users. This allow account modification. We select it for security reasons and save. The user is created. Apply. Yes. Again, wait a little bit. Now we can go to Windows and copy an ISO. We use Ubuntu Server to our KVM shared folders. As an example, we will install Ubuntu Server 24.4.1 long term support. You can download it here on this website. Now we open. The SMB share, IP address from our server, KVM ISO, and copy the Ubuntu server we have downloaded to this share. The copy is finished. Now we go to Open Media Vault again. Services, KVM, ISOs, and we see the ISO from Ubuntu server. The last step before we can install our server is to create a network. Go to networks, create, add Mac V tab network. Call it bridge. And select the network adapter. Add. Now we can select it, date started, and it's active. Now we can create a new VM. 
add new VM. So advanced options, name Ubuntu, server. Go down, choose Ubuntu. Twenty four long term support. UE FE we don't need. One CPU, it's enough for the, the, the demo. One five gigabyte. PNC spice will leave like that. You see that later. Create new disk. Images, KVM images. The name you can leave open. Size. Then optical drive is the ISO. From Ubuntu, we select it. Network, we choose the bridge from what we uh, just created and save. The server is created. We can select it. And start. Now we go to console. Also start. Here we only need to start it. Can take some time. And the server is running. Now we can click this link. Oh, we can install Ubuntu. Now we select the language. The keyboard. Select what type of installation, Ubuntu server, the network, the proxy server, the Ubuntu archive mirror, we deselect LVM group, and And install the name, my home lab, server name Ubuntu, username, password, confirm. And done. In you open SSH. Now we can reboot. The Ubuntu server is now rebooted and we can log in. As you can see, everything is working fine. We are now back in Open Media Vault. You can see KVM, the volumes, and of course the ISOs. So, that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. See you later. Thank you very much.